Hey, what's up guys? I'm in the southeast corner of Central Park right now. About to head in for a run. And sometimes I get asked, is it safe to run in Central Park at night? And usually my answer is yes, mostly. Which I realize isn't as convincing as my friends and family want it to be. But I'm gonna take you through the park, show you all the places where it's safe to run, and some places where you probably shouldn't run. Just don't. So yeah, southeast corner of the park, also known as Pokemon Central. I don't know what's happening. What is it? Lapras. Super safe to run in, unless you're Pikachu, and then you have no chance of survival. <laughs> now, before I get too deep in this, I feel like I gotta put a little disclaimer here. Don't sue me if something happens to you. New York is super safe, Central Park is even safer, even at night. I'm gonna show you where it's safe to run because there's other people, because it's lit. That doesn't mean that nothing is ever gonna happen. So be safe out there, use your head. If something feels sketchy, don't go that way. A um, Couple of places I'm gonna show you in the video, definitely don't go there. <laughs> there's this loop road that goes around Central Park, 6.1 miles, by far the safest place to run. Well lit all the way around, there's runners down the entire thing, you'll never be alone. And yeah, it's a safe, easy run. There we go. This is the mall. It's pretty awesome. And at nighttime, it's so cool because you'll never see this in the daytime empty like that. Well, this is new. Normally, Bethesda Terrace isn't quite this lit up. They're filming a show for ABC called Kick next year if you want to watch it. It'll be this scene right here. Movie magic is exciting. I've never seen it rain on a gorgeous, clear day like this before. <laughs> Now if you want to get off the main loop road and go explore a little bit, almost every path below 72nd Street is well lit. That's where the tourists hang out, we try to keep them pretty safe. I'm actually a little above 72nd Street on the east side, but you can still see the paths behind me, really well lit. Now, behind me over here is the boathouse, and I'm wandering into the Ramble right now, which is place number one that you should not come at nighttime because there's no lights. Even on the paths with lights in here, it's just, just kind of sketchy. I don't know. Highly recommend don't come in here at night. There's no one around. So every once in a while you see somebody just randomly sitting on a bench by themselves, just super quiet, and you're like, why are you sitting on a bench by yourself in the ramble? It's creepy. Because seriously, when you come around a corner and there's a light out, or three lights out, now it's sketchy. But this is the Oak Bridge. Check out this view. Ready? Ah. Now the paths to the Bow Bridge are pretty well lit. The Bow Bridge itself isn't, as you can see. So I'd say you can come down here and go out to the Bow Bridge, but I wouldn't go much further into the Ramble. Police do patrol at night, but not enough that you can count on them to be everywhere you need them to be if you get into trouble. You're also gonna run into a few little critters. The park is theirs at night. Hey bud. If you're up higher in the park, you can run this loop around the Great Lawn. Usually there's not many people out here, just a couple of dog walkers. Another path that you shouldn't run on is the Bridal Path. At nighttime there are no lights on it, so stay off of this one too. Another fantastic place to run at night is this path around the reservoir. It's 1.6 miles, great views in Midtown, super nice to run, and there's almost always other people running on the path, so you're rarely alone. North of 96th Street, it gets a little bit harder to find well-lit paths and trails. Stick to the loop path here, it's well-lit and there's always a lot of people on it, even at night. The 102nd Street Transverse here behind me, technically it's lit all the way across, but I don't recommend running across it, because hardly anybody's ever on it, and bad stuff has happened there in the past, so go around. The paths north of the Harlem Mirror, between Fort Clinton and Nutter's Battery, they're fun to explore. They're decently well-lit, and then when you pop out here to Harlem Mirror, you got a sweet view. This path that goes around the mirror is another great path to run on. It's well lit, it's pretty, there's usually people around, so go for it. To the east of Harlem Mirror, across the Loop Road, is the North Woods. Just don't. There's not a single light in the entire place. You'll get lost, and it just looks like this the whole way. It looks like I was mistaken. There are lights in the North Woods. This path leads up to the block house, which I've been to, but 
I wouldn't recommend running up here at night. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person around in the North Woods right now, but that's pretty well lit. If you want a good workout, run up and down the hills around the Great Hill, and then run around this loop a couple of times. That'll get your heart rate up. There's usually no one up here, but it's pretty well lit, and the path is a nice run. So yes, Central Park is mostly safe to run at night. You're not gonna be the only one here. If you're nervous at all, just stick to the loop path. You'll be fine, you'll be running with other people. And if you wanna get off and go explore for yourself, you can, it's pretty safe. If you wanna get into trouble, you can do that too. Until 1 a.m., then it closes. And then uh, don't come in the park. If you wanna see more of the park, especially in the daytime, click that link up there. And definitely subscribe, because I'm in the park all the time, so there are definitely more videos to come. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.